Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to a, another command tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be going over the slash clone command. I'll be teaching you how to make entire towns and cities in mere minutes. And skyscrapers, how to make them expand upwards incredibly quickly. And yeah, you can, and you can use this in your own world for other things like building and mini games and all sorts of things. The slash glim command is one of the most useful commands. Even I use it for some of my builds. And yeah. All right. So once you have your building that you're you plan on copying, then there's a couple things you have to do first before we start copying it and throwing it wherever you want in the world. So first off, I recommend you make like one of these, right? Yeah, it's a small, it can be literally anything, a couple of blocks, it could be like one block or anything. I usually use this, just like, you know, test it out. So first off, you're going to have to, up here, it's your position, you're going to need to have that on. If you don't know how you turn it on, go to settings. You want to go to game, go all the way down, show coordinates, that's how you turn it on. This is a very minimum, very minimum thing you have to have, and without it, you won't be able to do it. All right. So first, all we do is we stand right here at one of the corners. It could be this corner, it could be this corner. Usually, I like to go for like around this corner, and then once we're at this corner, look at our coordinates. We have to copy that in the chat. Do slash clone slash clone negative 45 3 39 alright that was incorrect chords wasn't it 4 39 that was correct alright now that we have our first coordinate we have to go to the next coordinate we have to stand right here so by level 6 alright and I have to copy those coordinates in the chat. All right, negative 46. No, negative 48. Six. Four, two. Bam. Now that we have both these sets of coordinates, now we can get on to experimenting. We're gonna, what we're gonna do, you stand in an open field, right? Where like there's a couple, you have a good space. You look where you're standing, right? And you have to observe where it's going to spawn, right? Where that structure is going to spawn next to you. What you do in chat, put three squigglies, enter. As you saw, there was nothing here, and now it's here. So now we know when we are doing the clone command, whenever wherever we're standing. It's going to go to the left and upward, right? Now, once you understand that, it's really simple. What you do, once again, go to your corner, do slash clone negative 53, 3, 76, 16, 97, negative 67, 19, and then 97. All right, now click enter and go a good distance away because once we have this command now we have base what we're doing is telling the game hey we want to take this structure and we gonna put it also somewhere else we're going to clone it copy and paste you know so as we remember from doing from using this we always remember it's going to copy from this wherever we're going to have to stand here and it'll copy that way so note with that information in mind stand right here go dig down one because we were at this level when we did our first command as shown with the y level three and then y level three up here so now bring it up in chat 
squiggly 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 bam enter and bam you have another cloned version of the house like I said using one of the using this method of cloning a small structure to figure out where it's going to land is really helpful and if you use like something like a 2x2x2 two by two by two cube of like dirt or anything then it's really easy just to clean up all right once again you stand where you're going to want it and bring it up in chat bam uh if there's, yeah all right and that is basically how you clone small structures you might be asking well you what about skyscrapers? I want to know how to build a massive skyscraper. Well, let's go right into that. All right, so basically for skyscrapers, it's something really easy to understand. What we're going to basically be doing is something just like we did over there. Once again, I recommend you use a little thing of like a little cube and then you clone it. So you go down here clone negative 181 3 and 52 but we're on my level 4 right yeah make sure this coordinate is the exact same as the coordinate at the top left all right once again then you stand right here One, eight, four, six, fifty-five. Bam. All right. Now that we have that coordinate, we stand here. Observe where it's going to land. Pull it up and chat. Bam, bam, bam. Once again, spawns right here. With that information in mind, now we can copy this structure. You guys can have like any design or whatnot. I just build a small little structure. So now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna break it. Well, we're gonna break into here, right? And I recommend you break into like corner just so you get a good, a good landing position. I'll show you what I mean by a landing position in a minute. All right, now once again, copy down the chords. 75. Double check those chords. All right. Go into the corner. Negative 189. 14 and then 108 bam all right now let's talk about landing position correct basically what your what you can imagine your landing position is is like where you're going to be standing and where it's going to be going it, so because we were standing inside of the blocks when we clone it we're going to be inside the blocks so knowing that the we're always going to be inside the corner so we're going to be inside this corner and we're basically taking this and putting it up here and we can do that tons of times and skyscrapers is one of the easiest ones because of that so once again squiggly 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 bam enter as i said we were in the box and bam just like that we have two layers now you could do this tons of times and with tons of times you can like do this infinite amount of times to get as many layers as you want as many floors or whatnot and then you can edit it and do whatever you want with it you can even have the inside like decorated you know and if you really want it to go over and beyond you can even have each layer have a different like to design by you know going up and changing the floors design each one by one or you can just copy it like I said using the copy command 
And yeah. Just like that, we have a seven story tower. That's kind of do it for today, guys. So uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the like so then you can find this video a lot easier for you. And yeah, if you guys didn't understand all the coordinate stuff, please go check out my fill command video. It will be down in the description. And yeah, it's really easy to understand and it's really not that hard. And yeah, so yeah, go check out some other of my videos and hit that subscribe button.